It's uh, we had a uh, wicked two-day snowstorm. It dumped uh, two feet of snow in two days. And I had to uh, try and get down here with the quad to bring a little stove down, but uh, it was just too too deep, so I had to run the snow blower all the way down here. Unfortunately, I had packed it before with the quad, so I was able to snow blow, no problem. So here's the pile of stuff I got. I got a little stove. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to fill up the little bird feeder. If you notice, I've enclosed it in somewhat. Temporary for now. I've got uh, quite a bit of snow up there, but so since we're in uh, supposed lockdown in Ontario here, we're going to uh, do a little bit of work on the uh, shelter today. Going to get the stove put in and be nice to get some heat in there. <laughs> I know I'm wussing out. I don't like winter. It's cold. It's like minus 13 Celsius right now. So not supposed to get any warmer either for another two weeks. All right, I gotta go back up and get the, the tin for the uh, stove. And then we'll get started. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna put a table in here somewhere. So we'll probably put the stove right about here. So I gotta cut a hole out here, put some tin. I'll have to cut the tarp on the outside too. It's a nice little stove. Uh, thanks to Kevin for uh, sending it on over. So somewhere right about here, pipe will come out. And like I said before, for anybody that's tuning in new, this is not your traditional bushcraft build. A little twist to it, but it's about as bushcrafty as I get. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
uh, three foot's a little too high. I'm gonna probably have to cut about uh, eight inches off of it, I think. I think I'm gonna have to tie these together so that they don't fall out. These top ones, I don't know, just gonna have to hang, I guess. Maybe I can put some kind of trim along the top, I don't know. Might have to wear that end up to the, the stick up there, just to hold it. Alright, that's the stove installed. Alright, I got uh, a bed and a table made up. I just made it up with 2x4s and plywood I had kicking around the yard. I'm gonna install that today. It's getting hard to go into the bush to find wood the snow is getting deep I do need to 
add at least one more piece on each side just to pick up the, the tarp that's not quite to the edge. Eventually I want to make this wall come out to about even with the wood stove there. There's that table will be right here. The bed will be over there and there'll be a shelf up there. So that's what I'm gonna try and do today. Obviously I gotta level this stuff out, but for now. Something like that. It was uh, 30 below this morning, Celsius. Damn cold. It's warmed up to about minus 15 now, but still chilly. I'm gonna get a uh, couple pieces of wood cut. Finish the side over here, at least one piece on each side, like I said, over there. And then I can put the stove on and get some heat in there level these things out. I also have a little shelf. It's probably gonna go up around there. And then I can hang stuff off of here too, like I have already. Getting warmer in here. Can't tell by my breath, but you can feel the heat coming from the stove. You can see the two corner gaps that I want to fill in. I got a couple logs to do that. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to level off the table and the bed. I don't know if you're getting my head in here or not. Getting cozier in here. Once I get the two end posts in and get these two furniture leveled in, screwed in, then uh, should be ready. Do some cooking, some drinking, <laughs> my little COVID shelter. Yeah, we're still in lockdown. Or locked down till January 9th, I think, and it's it's December 20, sorry, 29th or 30th today, something like that. This will be the bed. I think with my feet, I feel it now. I think I'm gonna have to move it a couple inches that way. And I can feel the heat from the stove with my head, so that's perfect. So if you can see, that's the uh, quick little shelf I threw up. I'm gonna hang some stuff off of it, put some stuff on top of it. I'm gonna have to get a thermometer in here and check out what the heat is in different places. Probably pretty dark in here on the video, but what are you gonna do, eh? So if you've been watching this, you probably gathered by now that it's not 100% bushcraft. Uh, oh well, <laughs> I do what I can.
This is still wood, come from the logs. I just didn't plane them. So it is what it is. All right, I got the lantern lit. Got the bed in place, fairly level. Shelf put in. The edges are a little bit better. Like I said, I want to come with this log wall out to at least the edge of the table. And probably one more on this side at least. Fire's roasting nicely. Got some wood. I got a place for wood storage over there if I don't put a second bed in here. So, a little chillier down at that end. But it's really nice up here. As you can see, I'm just here in a, a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. And it's not too bad. I wouldn't be outside like this. My breath is still a little noticeable, but not as much. Like I said, down here it's colder. But I'll wear wool socks and a sleeping bag. It should be good. My head will be toasty with the, the stove here. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> Gonna be time for a uh, drink now. I think that's about all I'm going to do to this thing this winter. Well, I hope you've been in, enjoying the, the videos on the shelter. It's taking a little bit of a, a twist with the wood stove and 2x4 bed and counter, but hey, that's the way she's going to be. I like it. Just got to do something with this wall in the spring. So it's a little better than just a tarp. We even got some little chickadees on the feeder. <laughs> 